a lot of buzz this week about a new flying camera called Lily, and some have called it the selfie drone. More than two million people have watched a promotional video showing how it works. In theory, it's quite simple. Now, the company says Lily starts recording as soon as you throw it into the air, and then it flies itself. There's no manual mode. And Lily follows this tracking device, and then it films the entire time. It's still a prototype, but it went on pre-sale on Tuesday. I spoke to Lily co-founder and CEO Antoine Balleresque about what he hopes the camera can do and what inspired its creation. My co-founder and I uh, met at UC Berkeley, and we're both really into robotics and personal um, computer science, robotics, personal robotics. And that's really what led us to believe that there, there had to be a better way to build cameras. Um, I was on vacation in, in 2013 with my family, browsing through pictures of the family trip when I couldn't see my mother on any of the, the shots. That's really how the first idea came about. Uh, we wanted to be all together in the image all the time. And why did you decide to build both the drone and the camera as opposed to just building a drone that can track you with a wearable device that you could use with any camera that you have already? Well, I think we started with the software, and that's really what our company is about, is the software. That's what makes Lily. But we got really frustrated when we were working on the software about uh, what was available on the market in terms of hardware. And that's really what motivated us to build the entire uh, product, hardware and software. And what we learned um, by building the hardware is that the experience becomes incredibly better by integrating software and hardware in one product from scratch. And can you imagine it being used in really built up, densely crowded in urban environments? Well, from a technical standpoint, it's a solvable problem. Uh, we're able, Lily is able to detect other lilies around and avoid them uh, easily. So from, it is definitely possible on the technical side. We think that over time, by having a very reliable and uh, powerful technology, people will learn to trust it more and more. And so one of our goals is really to be proactive about educating our users on how to use Lily and so that everybody becomes more comfortable with this new category of product, uh, flying camels. This is a prototype, not out yet. How do you plan to improve upon the technology? So we're always improving the software. Lily is always getting better. And I think one of the next steps for us will be to test our product with beta testers. And so that we're, we are really excited about this next step and putting Lily in our early, early customers' hands and see how they use it to really make it perfect for the masses in February 2016. And it seems to be a friendly piece of technology. It, it seems to have a face on it. Was that intentional? Yes, definitely. Um, I think our mission at Lily is to make personal robotics approachable, accessible, and friendly. And this is really reflected in the way we designed Lily uh, to be more than just a, a thing, a product, but so, something you connect with, something you have an emotional relationship with. And that's what Lily is about. Compelling design. Now, that was uh, Lily co-founder Anton Balleresk, and the Lily camera can only be used outdoors as a flight time of 20 minutes. And the company also notes that users must, quote, respect all local laws and regulations. The Lily is due to ship in February of 2016.